Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, Flor, how are you? Hello, good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, Thor. Hi, how are you? Hi, me. I'm doing well, thank you for asking. How was your Friday? I know my Friday. Sorry? 
a normal Friday, I think. Oh, regular Friday. Yeah. Do or you work? Oh. You... Do you work on weekends? Hello. Hello. Sorry, uh, I have I, a question I, about you. Yes. How long is your hair? Uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> why that question? <laughs> <laughs> it used to be very long, but I dyed a lot, a lot, so frequent, so it got really damaged. So I stopped dyeing it and I cut it really short. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay but yeah so I, I i don't really like it i'm just waiting for it to grow healthy <laughs> and i'm not going to not damage it again because i love it long yeah i'm yeah, used to have it long mm -hmm. it's difficult to have how the uh, long hair in the head yeah it's difficult yes especially if you are uh damaging it with chemical just to get it out because mm. i i used to have it uh blonde Oh, really? Yes, uh huh. And I spend a lot on treatments and things like that. But, anyways, it gets really dry and it looks mm -hmm. damaged. And I didn't like it. So I, I cut it very short. Mm -hmm. And this one year, since I'm not uh, putting anything on it, just taking care of it and hoping it to grow uh, healthy and long. <laughs> mm -hmm, I think so. No, I, I, I do that question because. Uh, you always have, you always, um, what is it, is that, is, you always think? You are always? With the, the hair short appearance. Uh, I think I, I, I had it, yeah. um, I had it loose like uh, two weeks ago, mm -hmm. but, but yes, as I, we have to, um, um, we need to put this background so maybe mm -hmm. you didn't realize because with this background it's difficult to see right <laughs> so yeah, no. uh -huh, but i had it uh loose um two weeks ago i guess mm -hmm. oh i think i i see I and sometimes see i'm and sometimes i'm wearing earrings mm -hmm. uh, big earrings uh, because mm -hmm. uh i i think that compensates my short hair <laughs> so <laughs> Okay. Yeah, but it, it, it is uh, difficult to see, right? Because of the background. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Okay. Mm. So the many details are lost because of this background, but I rather this. Okay, okay so uh, you have a long hair. Yeah, I have. But it's only on the, the top. Yeah, but it's really long. <laughs> it's, it's like a, a king, a Viking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Maria Carmen too has the long yeah, hair. Yeah, she has a long hair. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> yes, so mine is long. It's the longest. <laughs> it's My hair is the longest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And yes. Patricia, I see it. I saw that you raised your hand, Patricia. Mm, any comments? Any recommendation for our hair? <laughs> Hi, Patricia. Hi. Yes. Oh, wow, Maria El Carmen, you have a long hair. Wow, yeah. amazing, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's long, it's a, this is the longest. Yes. <laughs> Okay, um, thank you for being here on time, everybody. I hope that you're having a great Friday. This is the last Friday class. So um, next week, we're not going to have classes on, on Friday, but just only Monday and Tuesday, and we finished. Okay, so uh, to continue, and this is the last thing that we're going to study about the um, section number four. Um, Okay, so it's uh, this reading exercise. I hope that we can find a new vocabulary here and probably some amazing facts. 
uh, this is about things that we can do to help the environment. And uh, what we have um, environmental pr problems here in all those pictures, they increase and make the situation to become worse for our environment. Let's see how cars or what's going on with cars in number one. Any volunteer to read this part? Yeah, let me make it bigger. I know it's, it's pretty. Um, okay, I have Vicente. You can read about the cards. Hi, Vicente. Daniel, can you help? We, you're going to help with number two, which is uh, what is the number two or what it is? Well, you can help us with um, energy. Okay, let's start with Vicente and then Patricia with products and Maria with water. Okay, thank okay. you so much for you. Let's start, Vicente. Okay, good evening, first. <laughs> good evening. Okay, uh, cars. Cars are getting bigger. SUVs, large truck like vehicles are now the most popular cars in the United States. Bigger vehicles burn more gas and increase our pop pollution. Air pollution. Mm -hmm. Okay. So try to walk, bicycle, or use public transportation. If you drive a car, keep it turn, to, turn turn up. Turn up. This save gas and reduce pollution. All right, excellent. Thank you so much, Vicente, for helping uh, reading this part. Um, any question about this vocabulary? Pollution only. What pollution. Pollution Maybe is uh, contamination. contamination yes, contamination. Uh -huh. That's pollution. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay, good. Mm -hmm. Only okay. pollution? Say, say. When when I use the word turn up. Turn up. Oh, uh, and this is turn up is to adjust to keep a good performance. Mm -hmm. In good conditions, to have it checked and adjusted. Okay. That is turn up referring to. This saves, uh, I heard that someone asked about save. Save? Yes, uh, teacher. Economy, ahorrar. Yeah. Esto ahorra gas um, y reduce la contaminación. El tener el carro en buenas condiciones, ajustado, tuneado, dicen acá. <laughs> yeah, but it, it doesn't refer. Aquí creo que el, el tuneado, bueno, eh, verdad, o sea, es, es como tuneado es adornos. Aquí es, se refiere a eso, pero ajá, puede sí, ser de. Eh, in this case, I this is the reason for my uh, question because I think that that's terminology. Uh -huh. Yes, but in, uh, puede ser que se refieran a algo como acá decimos tuneado cuando le ponen adorno, le ponen aquí, le ponen allá, lo arreglan, Ajá, es una manera de, de arreglarlo estéticamente, uh -huh. visualmente, pero aquí el, eh, también puede ser tunearlo en el área de, de, man, de darle mantenimiento al motor, que ande bien el aire acondicionado. Esa es otra forma, ya la mecánicamente tuneado. <risa> Entre si el carro está mecánicamente bien eh, atendido, ajustado y todo, eh, eh, ahora es, es menos gas, menos pollution. Uh -huh. Mantenimiento preventivo, teacher. Yes, very important. Mm -hmm. Super important. Now, okay. uh, let's continue with uh, energy. I think Daniel is going to read about energy, and uh, then Patricia, and then Maria, right? Okay. This part say energy. Mm -hmm. The biggest use of home energy is for heating and cooling. So, turn up your air conditioner. Conditioner and air turn conditioner. down uh -huh. 
conditioner and turn down the heat, especially at night. Replace regular light bulbs with bulbs that use less energy. And remember to turn lights off. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, very yeah. important. So the vocabulary here is pretty um, easy, right? But if there is any question about this, no questions about this vocabulary? For hating. Yeah. Is for hating. Heating, for heating. Okay, heat ah, is for calentar heating. o para que caliente. Siempre que hay un verbo después de una preposición o en, en este caso for heating. Ajá, uh -huh, tiene que llevar gerund form. But it's heat para calentar o para uh -huh. enfriar en, este, en, en el contrary. Any other when question? It, when it say uh, replace regular light bulbs with bulbs, what mean that? Uh, bulbs son los bombillos, eh, las foquitos, bombillos. Maybe it's a light, LED. Uh -huh. LED. La, LED bulbs, ajá. Uh -huh. so LED, they, light, LED uh -huh. bulbs. LED technology, they are uh, intended to save energy. Okay, let's continue, Patricia, with products. This American talks away about 1.8 kilograms per pound of garage every day. Most of okay, it goes in, in the landfills. Reduce was before you buy, buy. asking you so do you need this? Is it sometimes it can only use one boy products that you can use, use over and over again and try to buy products made from recycled materials. All right, thank you so much for helping us, Patricia. Um, let's see, garbage, garbage, basura, uh huh, basura, and this is pronounced reduce, garbage, reduce, reduce. waste, 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 waste. Landfills, what mean landfills? Landfills son los botaderos, los vertederos de basura. Those are called landfills. Vertedero, verte, landfills. Uh -huh, son los vertederos de basura. I got it. Uh -huh. Landfills. Landfill. Uh -huh. Reduce so, waste. Reduce waste. You buy, buy. Uh -huh. bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Before. Uh, you buy by asking yourself, do I need this? Mm -hmm. so it's, it's something I can only use once and buy products mm -hmm. that you can use over and over again. And try like to buy battle. products more from the cycle material. Okay, like, so I... Like mm -hmm. battle. Mm -hmm. We use only one time and go garbage. Yes, it's better to have a... um. A reusable plastic bottle, really? if you uh huh, and then you can refill okay. that bottle and use it again and again, and and stop using um things that you're going to use once. If you can avoid um asking or having plastic bags when you buy buy something, it, you can do it. Sometimes people ask you, you, do you need a bag? If you don't really need it, don't take it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those are. The plastic bags. Uh -huh. Recently, so many um, fabricas, how do you say fabricas? Factories. Uh, recently, so many factories produce some bag um, friendly with the, with the environment. Yeah. Environment friendly. Yeah, but I, I don't know. And it sounds like crazy. And, and at the same time, it's, it's ridiculous because when I go to the supermarket, I want to. Sometimes you have a party and you need disposable um, glasses and disposable dishes, uh, probably because uh, to reduce the waste of water, uh, washing too many dishes and glasses. But the the uh, the ones that they that are um, 
eco-friendly, are more expensive. It shouldn't be like that. So <laughs> it's, it's like crazy. A organic products. Same. Uh huh. But Similar they should like be. That. Uh huh. But uh, but I think that they shouldn't be that expensive. So if they want to help the environment, they 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 should have uh, competitive prices, right? So that we uh, people um, go with the cheaper, and the cheapers are not eco friendly. <laughs> So yeah, and they should do something against that. All right, uh, Maria, let's continue with the water. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, but um, I'd like to know the pronunciation of faucet. Shower, faucet, faucet, like oh, faucet. faucet. Mm -hmm. Leaky faucet, faucet. It's the last word. Leaky, uh -huh. leaky, leaky faucets. Leaky faucets. Showers use a lot of water in one week. A typical American family uses as much water as a person drinks in three years by a special low flow shower head or take shorter showers. This can put water use in a hat, also fix any leaky faucet. All right, excellent. Thank you so much, Maria del Carmen. That's very interesting. Any new vocabulary here? Yeah. Low flow is a, is a new word for me. Oh, low flow, este flujo bajo. Mm -hmm. The last one, fix any lanky. Leaky. Leaky faucet. This oh, one, picture leaky number faucet. eight. In picture number eight, you can see a leaky faucet. Uh, uh -huh. The word drop. leak. Uh -huh. The es leak es el, el verbo es, o, o noun cuando hay una fuga. A fuga. Uh -huh. A leaky, ya es como, ya para hacerlo adjetivo, lleva esa I ahí. Leaky faucet, es un uh, chorro o con fuga. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, good. It's incredible, but these little constant drops of water, uh, it's, a, it's a big waste of water. It sounds like yes. sometimes we, we don't, um, we think it's not really important, but it is. Okay, um, read the article, we did it. Where do you think this is from? Is it for a textbook, an encyclopedia, a magazine, or an advertisement? What do you think that this article comes from? Uh, a magazine, maybe. Uh, I think the same, let's see. Yes, it comes from a magazine. Excellent. Now, uh, by reading the statements and then write advice from the article that each person should follow. Uh, this exercise is in your textbook. So Stephanie always takes long showers in the morning. So the idea of this exercise, uh, it's for you to um, Right here, one advice taken from the article. For example, in number one, it has to do with the um, water waste, right? So what advice can we give to Stephanie? She always takes long showers in the morning. Hmm? She must reduce the account of water. Uh, reduce the quantity of water maybe by buying a special low flow shower hair, right? And take shorter showers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shorter you can, uh -huh. uh, she should take shorter showers or to Is buy a low flow shower head. Mm -hmm. Or take a shower one day and then the next, no. And the other, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> one time a week. I, I once don't know. A week. <laughs> once, <laughs> once a week. 
<laughs> okay. No. Maybe you are not agree. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Good. Now the last uh, <laughs> section and the last section. Um. Uh, yes, when I was a child, I, I think I there were some days I didn't take shower. <laughs> Probably, but when when I was a little child, now I have to take them every day. Um, I think that everybody, right? When you were little guys, probably um, when you were little kids. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You, Rafael? <laughs> <laughs> One week without showering. The, the water is so cold. Ah, uh, yeah, the water were, yes, by October. It's mm -hmm. really cold. I, I didn't want it, but now it's uh, all the time is hot, so we need to shower. Yeah. Okay, in the last section, which is the number five, uh, we have the going to as the main topic of this. So for this, uh, we're going to be making excuses for plans, accepting or declining invitation. So we have some vocabulary here about making excuses. Let's see, the first one, it says, and busy that, that night. night. I can't I can find. find a babysitter. Mm -hmm. I'm not feeling well. Mm -hmm. I have to work then. Yeah. I have class that night. Yeah, right. <laughs> Tonight you have we given, have you have class. given that excuse recently. <laughs> <laughs> and my parents are visiting from out of town. I need to stay home with my new puppy, like Daniel. <laughs> mm. My favorite TV show is on that night. Right. And the last one, I have to get up early the next morning. The have more you... important is not there. The most important is not there. Which one I is it? I don't have money. <laughs> I don't have money. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's have you? Choose. <laughs> uh -huh. The puppy. Yes, I, I think that uh, that can be a, a good excuse. What is name? What is name, my friend? His name of puppy is, is Rocky. Rocky. Balboa. Okay. Yeah, like this. <laughs> is that a Chihuahua? Yeah, it's Chihuahua. No. Nice. This is not barking. They are very nervous. It's usually that breed of dog. <laughs> it study English too. Uh-huh. It's learning English. Okay. Now, have you ever used any of these excuses? And this is that name. Okay, Vicente have used that one. I am busy that <laughs> night. Okay, which I'm other? I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling well. Also, I have to work. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the rest of you? Rafael, I have class I that see? night. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have class that <laughs> night. <laughs> Okay, Christina, are you good? Oh, the soccer match. No, mm -hmm. Right, tomorrow in the morning we have we stay home. Okay. okay. Any? No. Hmm? I'm not feeling well. Mm hmm. I have used that one too. <laughs> uh huh. Any other? What about business? you, teacher? Mm, me. Um. The most common is I have to work that night. <laughs> because you have to teach or what? Yeah, be, because I have to teach, yes. <laughs> okay, good. And also, uh, I can't find a babysitter. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that was a, a, a fake excuse. I, I had my sister, hmm. she could take care of my voice. <laughs> but yes. All your family is living with you, but you. Uh huh. So, you but kisses are excuses. <laughs> when, when, when you don't want to be like uh, too much, so, and you look for an excuse. Uh huh. 
Yeah, I have this uh, one I can try now, babysitter. Babysitter. Mm. Yes, and I think that's the only one. And also I'm busy that night because I have to teach. Mm -hmm. okay. And the rest of you? For I can't, I have to wash my hair. <laughs> like, okay, uh, better no. say no at once. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you. Like yeah, you said it's only one week, <laughs> only one time for a week. Uh -huh. <laughs> To Take save water. I have to, I have class that night. <laughs> okay. Yeah, class that night. Yes, you never miss classes. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So we have this conversation. Um, we're going to listen to this one. It's making plans. And also, um, you see they are using the be going to and those things to give an excuse making plans etc so let's listen and then we're going to practice okay good unit 15 i'm going to a soccer match page 100 exercise 2 conversation making plans part a listen and practice say miguel what are you doing tonight do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until 5. So let's go around 6. OK. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. You are mute, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> you um, only move your lips and uh, you can't and understand. You, you were trying to read. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, Don't worry. So, as you can see, this conversation and they are uh, making plans. Um, uh, well, they are giving excuses to refuse the invitation, etc. But and the vocabulary, I think, is pretty easy. But I don't know if you have mm -hmm. any question about this. Mm. No, it's okay. Okay. Well, we're going to listen to the rest of the conversation and um. As they were making plans, but they they have other things to do that night. I think he has to go to a soccer match with his brother. So they continue making plans. So listen, who are, when? Well, the question is, when are they going to have dinner? And who are they going to meet after dinner? So we have to get the answer for those two questions. When are they going to have dinner? And mm -hmm. who are they going to meet after dinner? So listen. Okay. Page 100, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. When are they going to have dinner? Who are they going to meet after dinner? After we're done bowling, do you want to go to the Chinese palace for dinner? Sure, I love their food. We can go around eight o'clock. That's not too late. You know, maybe Jason can join us. Yeah. Hey, Jason, what are you doing tomorrow night? Do you want to join Miguel and me for dinner? We're going to the Chinese palace at 8. I have to work till 8.30, but why don't I meet you afterward? That'd be great, Jason. Okay, pretty easy. That's a piece of cake. Hmm. Do you want to listen again? Hmm. Please. Yeah, please. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Page 100, well, well. exercise 2, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. When are they going to have dinner? Who are they going to meet after dinner? After we're done bowling, do you want to go to the Chinese palace for dinner? Sure. I love their food. We can go around 8 o'clock. 
that's not too late. You know, maybe Jason can join us. Yeah. Hey, Jason, what are you doing tomorrow night? Do you want to join Miguel and me for dinner? We're going to the Chinese palace at 8. I have to work till 8.30, but why don't I meet you afterward? That'd be great, Jason. Okay. Maybe some a new participant in this conversation, really, or not? Uh, no, they they are the same, but um, now um, I think you maybe want to listen again because they, they are the same. But um, mm -hmm. at the beginning they are talking about going and have dinner, but uh, the. Miguel can't that night because they are going to go to a soccer match. So they continue mm -hmm. making arrangements. So in that, um, so they mention another person, but yes, they are the same, um, Miguel and Lynn. Jason, I guess. Jason, yeah. uh -huh. they are going, uh -huh. they are going to meet Jason after mm -hmm. dinner. Uh -huh. And when are they going to have dinner? At eight o'clock, I guess. Uh -huh. Excellent. They are going to have dinner at eight and Ooh, Jason is going to meet them afterwards. Mm -hmm. They are making plans with Jason. Yes, there is a third person there. You were right. Okay. Now, um, we're going to practice this conversation in the breakout rooms. Remember that you have this one in the material that you download from the platform. And also I sent it before the class. So the presentation is in the WhatsApp group as well. Okay, good. Okay, let me create the rooms. I have in the WhatsApp. ¿La tiene usted? Eh, voy a descargarla en este momento porque no la he pasado aquí a la, a la tablet. Oh, Deme un momentito, nada más. can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay. okay now we, we change. I'm going to begin. Okay. okay. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after work, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, thank you. Okay. Our <laughs> mm -hmm. Next. Next. <laughs> La hola, ¿quién se anima conmigo? Okay, if you want. <laughs> Los demás. Ahí habemos más eh, Patricia, Nasibia, Sandra, ajá. Pero ya practicamos que cada eh, uno hasta que con Vicente. Todo puede invertir los papeles. Porque hay más que 
queremos practicar. ¿Quién practica conmigo de los demás? Hola, hola. Hola, quizás han, quizá han quitado el, el micrófono. Sandra. Patricia. Hola. No, te, no lo... Hola. 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 Ahí sale arriba. No entiendo. ¿Ya volvimos a la clase o, o es.? Ah. Ya volvimos a la clase. Volvimos a la clase. It's will be funny. Okay. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> so did everybody uh, practice or participate? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Good. All right. So we're going to check attendance before uh, we can continue with the next thing, which is the video about the grammar topic. So uh, just let me get the file and remember to turn on your cameras and say present when you hear your names. Ada Marilu. Ada Marilu is not here. Alejandra Beatriz. I'm here. Thank you. Ana Ivania. Ana Ivania Guevara. Ana Silvia de Flores. Present. Ana Silvia de Funes. Ana Silvia de Funes. No aparece el número ahí. ¿Cómo lo le da? Sí. Ana Yancy Martínez. Present. Thank you, Ana Yancy. Cristina del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Daniel Alejandro. Present teacher. Thank you. Dina Stephanie. Pero no aparece ahí porque está como está agrandado. Sí. Ok. Um, let's continue then. Um, Dina Esmeralda. 
Dina Esmeralda. Eduardo José. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Susana. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Daniel. Francisco Daniel. Iris Concepción. Iris Concepción. María del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you. Nancy Carolina. Patricia Ann Maris. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Rosa Hilda. Rosa Hilda. Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Sandra Noemi. Present. Thank you, Sandra. Vicente. And Here, teacher. Thank you. Jessica. Present. Thank you. Okay. Creo que no escuché mi nombre porque me falló la conexión. Okay. What's your name? Dina Esmeralda. Dina. Ok, Dina. Ahorita la agrego aquí. Listo, Dina. Gracias. Ok, uh, let's watch the video about the grammar focus. And then we're going to discuss. And if you have any questions, we can uh, create more examples. Um, we did a conversation and... I think this is the video. Hi, so are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar Focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until 5. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we plan actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous, instead we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to, to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus verb, plus ing. Examples. She's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus be plus subject plus verb plus ing 
plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus B plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This weekend. Next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. All right, as you listen in the, in the video, we have uh, different ways to express future. We can express future using the present continuous and also be going to. Uh, do you have any question about this or is it clear enough? When do we use present continuous for future? When do we use be going to for future? Solo para despejar la duda, el going to era cuando no estamos seguros del, de las acciones en el futuro, ¿verdad? No, going to is when we have a plan. Entonces el present continuous es cuando no estamos seguros. Ok, uh, hay tres maneras de expresar futuro. Eh, ya las han visto anteriormente, las recuerdan. Son tres, tres formas de expresar futuro. Ahorita vimos dos, con presente continuo, con be going to, y ¿cuál es la tercera? Will. 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 Uh -huh. Will. Entonces, estas tres son para futuro. Um, vamos a compartir con la pizarrita. La diferencia de entre ellos, bueno... Eh, básicamente eh, usamos will y be going to para predicciones. El que no podemos usar para predicciones es um, uh, presente continuo. Vamos a ir en, en orden. El presente continuo, recuerdan cómo se forma, ¿verdad? Uh, ing. Ajá, pero también tiene que llevar el verbo to be, ¿se acuerdan? Siempre va a ir am, um, is, are, y luego el verbo principal con ing. Ok, so, si yo digo eh, el presente continuo, lo hemos visto mayormente y se utiliza mayormente para qué? Para acciones en progreso, acciones que están sucediendo en el momento de que estamos hablando, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo les digo ahorita, ahorita yo les digo, I am going to the bank. Uh -huh. Es como que, ¿hmm? pero no está ahí sentada dando clases. No, no, no es que está. So, yes, ajá, uh -huh. I am going to the bank. So tomorrow. I, tomorrow. Ajá. Ahí sí, siempre que el, el presente continuo lo podemos usar para acciones que están sucediendo en el momento. Futura. Como decir, someone is dancing. <ríe> Se oye por ahí. Someone is dancing, someone is having a party. Uh, you yeah, are... Yeah, yeah. <ríe> ok, you are paying attention, you are participating, you are taking notes, es todo lo que ustedes están haciendo en el momento, ¿verdad? Siempre va a ir una forma del verbo to be, am, is, are, y el verbo principal con ing, ¿ok? Para acciones que están sucediendo en el momento. También lo puedo utilizar para futuro, pero si lo utilizo para futuro, tiene que tener dos condiciones. Esto es futuro cercano, 
eh, tiene que ser cercano, no voy a decir ah, para dos años, de aquí a dos años y voy a usarlo en present continuous, no. Tiene que ser futuro cercano para un arreglo eh, para el día de mañana, para este mismo día más noche, eh, para la próxima semana, para el próximo mes. Un futuro cercano y tiene que llevar una expresión de tiempo al final. Okay. Porque si no, podemos confundir con algo que está sucediendo en el momento. Entonces, uh -huh. si es para expresar el futuro, le tenemos que agregar una time expression. Uh, por ejemplo, decir, I am, I am visiting. Ajá, uh -huh. I am visiting my parents. My parents. Next, next weekend. Weekend. The weekend. Uh -huh. I am visiting my parents next weekend. Next weekend. Uh -huh. Esto es futuro cercano y le agregamos la expresión de tiempo, el cuándo va a suceder. Ahora, este, este no lo podemos usar para predicciones. No se usa para predicciones. Para predicciones podemos usar will y be going to, pero ¿cuál es la diferencia? Voy a utilizar will cuando no tengo ninguna evidencia para saber que lo que yo estoy prediciendo se vaya a, a cumplir, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, um, so I think... Uh, um, I will be studying university. Um, ok. I will, uh, I will. I will. see Argentina winning... <laughs> Celebrating. Um, Celebrating. It depends on how you say. This is a good example. Uh -huh. It depends on friends, team. Mm, uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> mm, uh. I'm going to watch the soccer match tomorrow. Mm, yes, because you have the plan, right? Ya tiene uh -huh. el plan, ya es como decidido. Pero ahora veámoslo como pra, para predicciones. Uh, por ejemplo, podemos decir, um, I, I will, um, or, or let's use I another sentence. Uh, I will to US next month. Mm. I will go. I, I will go. go. Is it uh, but for prediction? Um. I will fail. Okay, so I can say you will fail the exam. But no, digamos, no estoy muy I don't want it. <laughs> so, uh, uh -huh, pero de repente, uh, solo lo digo porque uh, mm, no estoy muy segura, pero no tengo ninguna evidencia. Entonces digo, you will <laughs> fail the exam. Pero tal I vez. I will make my best. Yo, uh -huh, yo he visto, <laughs> digamos que es con el hermano. <laughs> Pero digamos, lo he visto que todo el ciclo se le ha pasado con los amigos, en la calle, um, viendo tele, jugando videojuegos. Nunca lo vi agarrar un cuaderno. Entonces todo eso me indica y casi estoy segura de que va. Entonces, como tengo todas esas evidencias, he visto todo eso, estoy casi segura. Entonces le digo, you are going to fail. Oh my. Uh -huh. You are going to fail the exam. Porque no lo he visto agarrar un cuaderno, sino que al contrario, uh. solo con los amigos, solo en el teléfono, solo jugando, viendo televisión, jamás con un cuaderno. Entonces In todo Facebook, eso me indica de que mi, <ríe> de que mi predicción va a ser eh, acertada. Entonces cuando yo tengo evidencias, cuando voy a basar voy a basar mi predicción en algo, entonces esa predicción la voy a hacer con going to. Going to. Ajá, pero si de repente no tenemos evidencia ni, ni algún dato que me haga sentir que eso por seguro va a suceder, entonces usamos will. Es como una amenaza, entonces. <risa> Usted Ajá. lo está amenazando. <risa> sí. El will también se usa para decisiones espontáneas, como... De repente, os, no están mis planes cargar bultos ahora, pero de repente veo que viene mi mamá con un montón de bolsas y le digo, I will help you, te ayudaré. Ajá, es una decisión espontánea, no hay uh -huh. un plan, ¿verdad? 
para eso también se usa el will, para decisiones espontáneas, para predicciones de las cuales no tenemos mucha certeza y eh, eh, decisiones tomadas en el momento, como les decía, ¿verdad? Going to ya es para algo eh, planeado y si es para predicciones, eh, algo que se basa en hechos. ¿Ok? okay. No sé si ahí les quedó un um, poquito más despejado como cómo usar el, los um, tiempos para futuro. Entonces, present es cuando sí uno está totalmente seguro de que pase en el momento o de que pasará en un futuro cercano. Si está pasando en el momento es porque estamos viendo la acción en progreso, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero si lo vamos a utilizar para futuro, sí tiene que ser un plan a futuro cercano y tenemos que agregarle una expresión de tiempo, el cuándo va a suceder esto. Uh, si usted dice, um, voy a, uh, estaré, um, o, uh, estaré estudiando mañana para mi examen. I'm going to be studying tomorrow. Ok, so ya decidió que el sábado va a estar estudiando no viendo partido. Entonces, ajá, te, puede usarlo sí. con el present continue, agregándole la expresión de tiempo, es decir, mañana. Y uh, igual, como es un plan, eh, ya puede hacerlo con going to, pero no con will, porque pues ya es algo que está planeado, ya usted ya apartó ese día para eso, entonces will no se usa en ese contexto. ¿Sí? Entonces, que no entiendo el going to con el presente continuo, entonces es lo mismo. No. Uh, tiempo al final. Ah, un... sí, en eso sí, pero la estructura es diferente, porque en el presente continuo eh, va el verbo to be más el verbo principal con ing, Ajá, pero claro. con el going to siempre va a ir la frase going to y luego el verbo. Uh, sin ING. Perdón, ¿Mm? Entonces, sirven para lo mismo. La única diferencia es la forma de. de, 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 de no. Sí, sirven para lo mismo y tienen eh, la diferencia de que el presente continuo, si lo utilizo para uh, futuro, tiene que ser un futuro cercano. Y going to lo puedo utilizar para futuro eh, indefinido, ¿verdad? Puede ser algo que yo voy a hacer de aquí a cinco años etcétera. Largo plazo. A largo plazo, para planes a largo plazo, pero si lo voy a hacer con present continuo, tienen que ser a corto plazo. Y sí, ambos okay. llevan eh, la expresión de tiempo. Entonces, para largo plazo podría ocuparse también el will. Eh, sí podría, pero este no da como mucha seguridad. Uh -huh. Ah, entonces es como un plan de esos que nunca se llevan a cabo. Ajá, ajá. Como I will love you forever, vea. <risa> bueno, no lo hacen con going to. <risa> okay. Tenga fe, tenga fe. <risa> Así dicen que es más falso el te pago mañana. Sure. <risa> Te bajaré las estrellas. Entonces ahí yes. Will. Esos van con Will. Uh -huh. <risa> okay. Uh, so. Yes, vamos a seguir practicando y les voy a poner más material respecto a estas tres formas del futuro para el día lunes, para aclarar un poco más y con más ejercicios. Ok. Ok. So, bye now. Enjoy Thank your you. weekend and see you on Monday. You bye. See you on Monday. Bye. 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 Bye.